Our city under siege coverage continues tonight. Crime taking center stage on Capitol Hill. A House Judiciary Committee hearing on how the rise of crime is affecting victims. Stephanie Ramirez was at that hearing tonight. There was a lot of finger pointing today, especially at U.S. Attorney Matthew Graves, who was not there in person. But as you can imagine, this hearing got very political and at times it got very real. We heard from the Valor Brew Pub owner here who spoke to being attacked inside his business by an armed suspect with his four-year-old son there. And he also spoke to the suspect in the case getting a plea deal. Now, there are people out there noting that the prosecution asked for the highest amount of time he came so suspect. close to actually deal, pushing him on his son the judge went even lower no matter mm -hmm. this is how the business owner yeah. is responding and what i would change in the process if i could is that uh, the da simply make his staff do their job i mean how can you not win the case i had like, like what else do you want i mean the only thing that could have made this case more sensational is if i got shot this video from that assault was played in today's committee hearing pub owner Gaynor Jablonski and at least two other. <laughs> some man be, some man will swing on your head. Yeah. That left hurt. That first left hurt like a motherfucker. Victims of crime testified to how they are frustrated that the suspects in their cases either receive plea deals or lenient sentences by judges or no sentence at all. Some of what we heard today in the some two hour hearing is not new. Republicans blame Democrats for being soft on crime and not supporting police. Democrats blamed Republicans for not supporting gun reform measures that could impact D.C. gun violence. DC gun reform measures won't do nothing for D.C. All, all the murders happen with illegal guns or stolen guns. Gun reform won't do shit in D.C. And correct me if I'm wrong, but you talk about crime in this context, and it's essentially code word for black people doing this shit. Like, who else is doing like brazen fucking crime in the middle of the street in DC? Nobody. Maybe yeah. a few on burritos. A few. Like I mean, it's overwhelming. Few. Over 95%. Yeah, it's like 95% some people on Twitter, on the DC MPD Twitter. <laughs> it's 95 at least. Yeah, it, it, it's and, and when it comes to the um, victims, the the people who actually are dying, I would say it's ninety nine percent. Of course, <laughs> yeah. Like like agree. honestly, man. I mean, I would literally say ninety nine percent. Um, let me show you. Let me just show you right quick. Please take the five dollar challenge via PayPal, Cash App, the Super Chat. Support the channel. We coming through. Bringing you the news that you can't get nowhere else. I don't see nobody else do the gun memorial. I'm about to say we going to the memorial. Here all we are. The Look at We're this. It. Look at this. This is all the gunshot victims in DC. The murder. The yeah, people murder. that died of murder by guns. Look at this. Oh, Ox, some of these guys may have, you know, killed themselves because of depression. Nah, these guys have been fucking murdered in the street, man. Um, I'm glad I don't I don't I don't see anybody I know. I'm glad about that. Um no bullshit. I'd be looking like nervous every time I look at the DC jump. One Jesus Sanchez, you got one on burrito. Oh, this is the guy who um remember how powered um he was he was a construction worker and the guys came up and tried to rob him. Is that this happened on Howard University campus? So the sons got him. What a shot. Yeah, sons, oh, sons tried to rob him and they killed him. It just happened the same around the same time where those sons um was, was rolling around, fucking beating up the Howard students and shit. Oh yeah, this August. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, he got killed by sons. Um them Georgia Avenue niggas. <laughs> them niggas could have been from anywhere though. That's true. And then this guy right, he got killed by a white guy on um the campus of um Catholic University. A white oh, mom wow. killed him. Yeah, a white homeless person killed. Him. Oh, who killed Allison Sigurdsson? She was killed in Southeast DC. Yikes! Damn. The first link is Telemundo. What the fuck was she doing in Southeast DC, man? Mm, she's a Salvadoran joint. Mm. She's tough. Oh, she could be a migrant. 
Is it? No, she's not a migrant nine, mother's nine. Yeah. Wow. She's a student at PG County Community College. Mm. She was on wheel. She was in Wheeler Terrace Apartments. Oh my she said God! She, she she met a man on Instagram. They agreed to meet face to face on the twelve hundred block of Valley Avenue. Oh my! Near God. Wheeler Terrace Apartments. South East. That's South Hold East. on. At eleven forty five p.m. No fucking way. Her ass was green as shit. That's terrible, young. That was a robbery. Her he ease. said. It said DC police said someone opened fire shooting at least eight rounds, hitting and killing Allison. Damn man. If you knew you you know where it is, but if the other people knew, yo, you just know know it's a setup. Like it's no there's no reason that this sister should be anywhere in that vicinity that time of night, any day of the week. Man, insane. There's no reason to be back there. That's that's the cut. Like it's not. <laughs> it's not. I've been like, back there before during the day. During, <laughs> like, like I knew some people who like stayed, but they didn't. They wasn't from there, but they stayed there and they had like a cookout. Went over there, man. And then I drove through there plenty of times. You know, like you know how you yeah, riding around and shit like yeah. that. So I'm, I'm familiar with that. And I, I got a man who got a baby, baby mother over there. We used to go take him over his baby mother house. But um, ain't Valley still, a one way? Well, Valley is, is it depends like where they talking about Willow Road. It it I I can't really I don't really um know the the hundred blocks over there, so I would have to see it on the um on the um you know say where it is, but it's it's the trenches, man. Yeah. Even though they built it up, one side they built up the townhouses, you know, on one side of Willow. Oh right, right. I'm still trying to wrap my head around this. How do you look at her and say I'm gonna rob her? And then I'm a shooter. Easy, because that's what you planned on doing. Yeah, that's, that's why you what, called her out there. Right. And then and then you're like, oh, she going to come around the way? Oh, it's sweet, my nigga. Like, that's if why she's, you, yeah, yeah, she's, if you, if you talking to her, you can tell how green she is. Just, they could tell, like, they know what to say and how, based on how she respond, they could tell how green she is. Oh, she about to come around the way. We'll do what's on. <laughs> Still, man, it's like, oh my goodness, how how savage you have to be to do to just to just do that. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's what they call themselves. Yeah, yeah, demons. Yeah, and, but but where she went though is so trenches. It's so trenches. It's like yo, yeah. like it's ridiculous. Yeah, their their ops like their ops literally are block over. Like it's it's the type of neighborhood where your ops is on the next block. Like the niggas that's killing your friends are on the next block. And y'all was friends up until high school. Y'all, you y'all was the same clique till high school. Then y'all branched off into separate cliques and y'all killing each other. All y'all know each other, mothers. Yeah, cousins. It's just yeah, they're just killing each other. It's sick. Oh, oh, that sick over there, man. Um, <laughs> needs to be a fucking like alert on your phone. Like, there have been a lot of shootings in this block. Are you sure you want to navigate to here? Yeah. There was like you saw the the it's li- the link. It said uh, there was four or five other related shootings within the sa- ne- uh, same three days. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly. the the shot spotter. Just use that. The ops are around the corner. Like the ops is lit. Like it literally, like literally, you gotta have a candy lady in your hood because you can't go to the corner store because it's in the ops territory. No bullshit. You look at the gun memorial. I understand how anyone fell for BLM because clearly BLM was never talking about this kind of stuff. I mean, I can understand looking at it and and thinking, my God, you know, like. Nobody else is suffering this kind of like in in America. Nobody else is suffering this kind of oh, insane a, violence. Man, man. Yeah, if cops if cops were just kill if cops are killing this this many people in a in a general. Well, area, I, I can understand why they would <laughs> they would hurt for like for black people, but like yeah, of course it's not the cops doing it. It's fucking you know endemic to their their own population. Think about this though. This is we down to February of this year. This is just this city. 
Baltimore, 40 miles away, it's the same exact thing. All these black yeah. faces. In a much bigger city. And it's like, look at this shit. Then you go to Philly, it's the same thing. Then you go to, like, even the little cities, it's it's proportional to this, whatever their population is. Look at all these fucking people. And this is just the guns. Motherfucker stabbed the shit out you in D.C. too. Everybody carry a fucking blade. Right. Yeah, we saw that in New York, like last week. Yeah. I'm just surprised that people don't carry knives. So that's that's what DC looked like. My man's name was D Angelo. Yeah, man. <laughs> Whew. <laughs> this is how it is, man. I haven't seen that one before. Mm. So yeah, back to this man. Whew. I mean, the only thing that could have made this case more sensational is if oh. I got shot. Sentence in the some two-hour hearing is not new. Republicans blame Democrats for being soft on crime and not supporting police. Democrats blamed Republicans for not supporting gun reform measures that could impact D.C. gun violence. D.C.'s deputy mayor for public safety spoke about the ecosystem. The police union chair blamed the D.C. council and rhetoric for stopping recruiting and making police jobs harder. Something new did come from an expert think tank the Heritage Foundation. The expert proposed handing the embattled D.C. crime lab to the ATF or FBI and also moving the juvenile division to the U.S. Attorney's Office. At the end of the day, both sides did seem in earnest to want to address why D.C. has not been able to lower violent crime when other cities have. Two Northeast and Southeast community leaders told me that's a plus. I do think that the idea of collaboration was something that's always been man, Celine. Level, but it's important Ooh, you that know triples. Yes, my man. This case are not down, and that is he is he woke. I mean, he's he's. I feel bad for him. He's you know he's in a fucked up position because he know he got to play woke, but like he's like you know he is woke, but like but he's also like ex military. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. he 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 know like. He really know what the real problem is, so he be trying to play both sides. Like you know, what I'm saying when I talk to him, he know, you know mm. what I mean. But he, he's running for Ward Eight Councilman right now, so Ward Eight. Oh God, yeah. he ain't gonna be Treyon. Treyon is in there for life, Jack. I know, but Treyon, you know, he been trying to leave for a minute. He been trying to run for mayor. He think he he gonna be mayor. He, he might be ready be to. Man. Nah, man. no way. But he, he ready to leave though. No way he wins the mayor, not with the demographics nah. in the city. Nah, nah, no way. Nah, but he keep running. He's ran, I think, I think the past two, I think. At least the definitely the last one. But he 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 tired of Ward 8 because Ward 8, it ain't going nowhere. So it's yeah. like yeah, he ain't doing he at that. large. He need to go be at large um, yeah, at large, large or something team. like that. Maybe chairperson. By playing both yeah. sides, where what where results has you brought in? I honestly, I don't know anybody in Ward 8 who could tell you. I live in Ward 8, you know what I'm saying? I, okay. I, I don't, I be trying to ask people, nobody could really tell you. He'll he'll say something like, I think he opened a hospital over here because it wasn't really no hospitals in Ward 8, I think. That's you know what, what they mean? closed, like, Greater Southeast, or whatever they call it now. Yeah, but they, yeah, they got, um, what's that joint on Southern Avenue? Um, yeah, Greater Southeast. Oh, that's what that's called? what it used to be called i don't know what it, they changed yeah, right. names of yeah they be changing it but that's like been the only one i think he he opened another joint i think the joint on mlk i mean you know with some somewhere but that's really it other than that i mean businesses like it's been stuff popping but this, i don't know a lot of people can't really tell you in this city being the um being the councilman of ward eight man is literally like being like you basically just gonna have to beg for free shit out of the but out of the city budget because that's what your people gonna be selling you. We need free shit and yeah. basically just like talking about and going from crime scene to crime scene. And yep. it's like that's that's gonna be your toll job begging right. the city for free shit and programs and traveling to different crime scenes and consoling mothers and shit yeah. and right. shit like that real collaboration happens not just you know the lip service that's given to it we have people on the democratic side and the republican side who put their uh 
testimonies on record. So you just can't put your testimony on record and then not follow through with some type of solution. The deputy mayor for public safety spoke after saying that they do not want the D.C. crime lab or the juvenile division to be handed over to the feds, that D.C. needs to have more control, not less, to address the issues in this city. That's also the argument for D.C. statehood. The U.S. attorney's office did also issue a statement today saying that their goal is to get justice for victims. We were also told in the hearing that the number of people arrested uh, and not prosecuted, that number is going down in the district. Guys.